Secretary of State Raffsenberger had a contractor that he sent specifically to Fulton County. Listen, everybody knows that in Georgia, Fulton County is sort of the black sheep of the voting family. It's had lots of problems over the years where the tallies are not right, votes are missing, employees are problematic. And so it's always been, always had an eye on. There's always been. But in this case here, something pretty significant happened. He sends a guy there to watch. And that guy watches for a while. And what does he see? He sees double scanning of ballots, suitcases with election materials walking out with no, no one even knows who the person is that walked out with it or walked in with it. Uh, he sees an episode. There is a report of an episode. The muscle that's brought in, the people that are going to run the machines, they're observed in the elevator by an election observer, and it's reported to him that they're intending to come up and mess things up. They actually use a lot more colorful language, but we won't use that <laughs> on air. You can imagine the words they might have used, but... Uh, they're talking about coming in and making a mess of the election, intending to... Now, were they joking? We don't know. But I'll tell you what, when you look at the document, 29 pages of errors, mismanagement, mistakes, grotesque running of an election. It just, it was completely chaotic. So these 29 pages, when, what was the date of this report? November. Wow. So you Georgia have... state officials have known about it for five, six, seven months. So Brad Raffensperger, in this phone call that the Democrats made a huge uh, stink yeah. about with President Trump, he knew at that point when he was saying that nothing is wrong with Georgia, he knew at that point the contents of this memo. Without doubt, his office knew. It would be shocking that he wouldn't read the report of the man he sent there. And so, you know, Brad Raffensperger has to say, now, let's, let's keep in mind, I want to be fair to him as well. He has always said he was worried about Fulton County. He didn't think Fulton County did a good job. But you can't go on national television and say this was the best run election when you have a 29-page report laying out litany after litany of extraordinary oversights, mismanagement, uh, people not understanding, scanning ballots twice, uh, losing ballots. It's just, it, it reads like a how not to do an election manual when you look at this 29 and, and pages. And we had 